What is going on guys, Rob here with RK Motorsports. In today's video, we are gonna be completing our 2014 Yamaha R1 rec bike rebuild. All right guys, so I know it's been a couple weeks since I had the last video of the R1 rebuild. I want to apologize. I actually did come down with COVID, so I was down for a few days and that kind of interrupted my schedule for uploading videos, but we're back and today we're gonna to be wrapping up this bike and I did get the rest of the parts in that I need and I'll go over that with you guys quickly. Uh, in this bag right here, we got our relay for the headlights. I did notice in the comments, a couple guys were saying, hey, I don't think your headlights were working because the bike has to be running in order for the lights to work. Right there. So even with the bike running, we did not have power and we did not have headlights. So I've got that relay. We can install that. That way the headlights are working. I did go ahead and install the passenger pegs. It was a little finicky getting those on, but I figured I'd do that off camera. That was a real minor piece that we had to do. So I've got those passenger pegs on there now, and we've got pretty much all of the fairings. I've already went through and put, up, put all of our little spacers and, and little rubber grommets and all those little pieces that we need for the fairings. I've got all the little bolts in here, so it's gonna be quick and easy for me to throw those on the bike. That's pretty much it that we gotta do, so let's start slapping these fairings on and let's tighten this bike up and get her all finished. So right here is where that relay goes for those headlights. That's the part I just unwrapped and installed. So now if we turn our key on and start the bike. There we go. So there we go, that relay is installed and now we have functional headlights. Those are looking really nice and we can move forward with these fairings now.
Alright guys, so we got all the fairings on this bike. This thing is looking absolutely beautiful. The blue, the white, the black, everything is coming together on this thing. Now I know there was a few people that were concerned about the color of the rims. People were like, ah, you know, the, the color looks disgusting. It's like a weird puke green. Personally, I like the neon yellow, neon green look with a blue bike. I think this looks really nice. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And one thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to get this thing outside, take a test ride, show the colors of this bike in the light in the daytime. But unfortunately, daylight savings time just happened and it is dark outside already. So I'm gonna fast forward to tomorrow and we're gonna take this thing outside and get a better look at how this thing looks in the sunlight. All right guys, we got her outside. Now let's take this thing for its maiden voyage. Let's hop on this thing and see what she's got. Oh, that sound never gets old. Oh, this thing feels so good. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound of the motor through the microphone that I have in my helmet, but this thing in person is absolutely insane. This thing is absolutely insane. This thing runs like a freaking champ. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about how this bike looks. And thank you again to the supporters of this channel. I'll run you guys down right here. We've had a bunch of new people support the channel. I appreciate the support so much, guys. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. You'll get more content like this with these full, complete rebuilds. And I will see you guys in the next bike rebuild. Rob with RK Motorsports, signing out. Later, guys.